So hello guys here we have question number 4 from challenger understanding exercise of the chapter kinematics from pathfinder so yeah, let's get the question first an l equals to 70 cm long thin tape wound on a spool of radius r0 equals to 10 mm makes a tape roll of outer radius 25 mm a motor used to wound the tape rotates the spool at a constant angular velocity and takes time equals uh, t equals to 165 seconds to complete the winding Calculate length of the tape which has been wound in t equals to 110 seconds from the beginning of the winding. So if you want to try it uh, yourself, uh, you can do it now. So if you want to uh, look at the hint, here it is. Try finding the angular velocity and the thickness of the tape first. So if you want to try it again with the hint, uh, you can do it now. So yeah, now let's look at the solution. So first of all, uh, let's assume the thickness of the tape to be x, the angular velocity to be omega, and the total number of turns of the tape to be n. So now, uh, what we can say is that the total thickness of the tape in radial direction uh, as there are n layers will be x times n. And the total thickness can also be said to be uh, outer radius minus inner radius of the spool, so we, which will be r minus r0. So here we get our first equation uh, from this relation. Now, uh, let us assume some kth layer uh, of the tape. What we can say for this layer is that its radial distance from uh, the center of the spool will be r0 plus kx because there will be k layers below it and each has a thickness of x. Uh, so from here, what we get is the length of the tape in this layer will be 2 pi times the radial distance, uh, the, the circumference of a circle. So this will be 2 pi times uh, r0 plus kx. And so from here what we can get is uh, if we sum of this length of the tape in the layer from k equals to 0 to n we are uh, eventually summing a uh, whole of the tape so this should equal to l so from here uh, what we can get is 2 pi times uh, n times r0 times n into n plus 1 by 2 times x so the sum of uh, sigma k uh, from k equals to 0 to n will be n into n plus 1 by 2 and that of 1 uh, will be n so this will be the eventually what we get the sum and uh, this is the second e expression we get now substituting uh, from equation 1 into 2 what, what we got in equation 1 was e x into e n equals to r minus r naught so substituting it here what we get is 2 pi times n r naught plus r minus r naught times n plus 1 over 2 equals 12. Now solving ahead, uh, finally we get the value of n to be l minus pi r plus pi r naught over pi times r plus r naught. And uh, again from the first equation as n into x was l, uh, we get the value of x to be l divided by this value. And uh, we get the value of this to be this. Now as you will solve more, uh, if you uh, look at the values, we have been given such values that the value of L is much larger in comparison to pi times r plus r0. So it will be much better if you uh, approximate this to this value, otherwise the calculation in the steps to come will be very tough. Now let's say that uh, till some time t, tape, uh, tape has been wounded on it till a radius r and the length L has been consumed from the total length till now. And let's assume the width of the tape to be w. So by conserving volume, what we get is the lwx equals to pi times r square minus r naught square multiplied by w. So this value is the uh, tape uh, accumulated till now in this region. And uh, this value is actually the, as L length has been wounded till now. So uh, this is the volume of the L, le L length when it was in a uh, linear shape, like it was in a line shape. So from here, differentiating both sides with respect to time, what we get is x dl by dt equals to 2 pi r times dr by dt. And uh, we know that dl by dt is nothing but omega times r or the rate of change of the length of the thread uh, which is being wounded on it and which will be equals to omega times the radius at the point at which it is being added and it is r. So from here, x into omega times r equals to 2 pi r dr by dt. Separating variables and integrating, what we get is, uh, and I have integrated here from 0 to time t, which is the total time of wounding. So here the radius will vary from r0 to r. And so from here, we get the value of omega or the angular velocity of the spool to be 2 pi times r minus r0 over xt, where t is the total time. So from here, now we also find uh, found omega so from here we can find the number of turns undergone by the spool till the time asked 
and from this number of turns we can find the length uh, wound just like we did in the start for relating thickness and length so for example like here we found the total length uh, by summing over this similarly we can fi find the uh, length l wounded till times a uh, small t so from here uh, number of turns uh, let's assume uh, till now to be m so from here the number of turns will be omega times t the total angle rotated over uh, 2 pi the angle of one rotation so now the length wound till t equals to 110 seconds can be shown as length of the tape wound uh, just like we did in uh, the start of the problem i have written 2 pi times r naught plus kx uh, this is the radius of the kth layer and summing it from k equals to 0 to m we get we should get the value of l which is the required answer so uh, again uh, summing this uh, to l equals to 2 pi times r naught m times uh, plus m into m plus 1 by 2 times x and uh, what after this this is just manipulation after substituting the value of m then the value of omega and so on so we substitute the value of m from here omega uh, t by 2 pi uh, in the place of m and again uh, here it is just manipulation you can uh, look through these steps yourself and uh, in the end what we uh, we get something like uh, some expression like this which is the uh, accurate expression but after this we have to approximate a bit because uh, we have to observe here clearly that this length is actually uh, very small in comparison to this term so uh, we eventually end up ignoring this term so we'll just ignore this term and even in this term when we substitute the value of x we'll get something like uh, l minus uh, something like this value in the numerator but again uh, we substituted it for l so uh, that's why i was saying uh, we have to approximate it so finally uh, we get this answer to be uh, small l equals to capital l times uh, r naught minus r by t times t plus r naught whole squared minus r naught square over r, r square minus r naught square and on substituting all the values you can uh, get the final answer yourself which is 40 meters i know this question was uh, a very uh, mathy and only calculations were there so it's just uh, a test of your patience how how calmly you solve the total problem even i even i made a lot of mistakes while attempting this myself so yeah, hope you like the uh, question. Thank you.